Good morning, fourth graders. All right, we're back with our exit ticket from lesson 24. So let's just get started, okay? I want to take you through this a little bit so you understand what you need to do and what you don't need to do, okay? So basically what you're going to do here <clears throat> is not really pay attention to all these directions here. What you're going to do is just convert these three fractions, these fractions that are greater than one, to mixed numbers, all right? So you're going to take them, and you can use any method that you want. You can uh, use a decomposition method, right, where we have, um, you know, you make a, um, you know, de you, decom you decompose if you're making a number uh, tree or a, um, a number bond, I'm sorry, and uh, go from there. Or just do the regular method of, you know, how many times does the denominator fit into the numerator. So uh, do what you can to fit, put these into mixed numbers, all right? So you don't have to do anything it says here except... These fractions that are greater than one need to be put into mixed numbers, all right? All right, we'll see you back here in about five minutes. Teachers, pause now. All right, there is your five minutes. So let's check and see how you did. Here's the first one. All right, so I asked myself how many fives fit in the 17, and the answer to that was three, um, without going over, of course, right? If I count by five three times, 5, 10, 15, I know that that'll um, fit in. Because if I count by four times, it'll give 20, and that's higher than 17. So I decomposed this into 15 fifths, which is exact, exactly three, right? And I had two fifths left over. You see how 15 and two make 17? So it's three and two fifths. Five goes into 17, three full times, with two left over, and fifths remain the same. All right, over here, I've got this one. Let me zoom in so we can see that one better. All right. Um, same thing. I asked myself, how many times does 3 fit in the 19? The answer is 6 times because 6 times 3 is 18, right? So, you know, 18 thirds would be a full 6. And I just have 1 third left over. You see how 18 and 1 make 19? That's right. Okay. And then finally, convert the fraction to the next number is 2 and 3 fourths. Four goes into 11 two full times um, without going over. Um, so four, so that would be eight fourths here, right? So two would be eight fourths. Yeah, that's where that comes from. So there'd be three fourths left over. All right, so four goes into 11 two full times with three left over and fourths remain the same. All right, so today's lesson is going to be the exact opposite of this. So hang tight. We're right back with our I can statement. 